everyone. Hello, Earthlings. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. And once again, welcome to your number one Miss Earth Authority, Miss Earth Crown. Live na live from Japan, this is Eman Feliciano, Miss Earth Crown's creative content head. And of course, tonight is a special night that we thought would not come but here we are again definitely so it may have come a little bit late but definitely it will be worth it for you we're going to make it worth it for all of you because tonight we are going to have the miss earth 2022 queens on miss earth crown but of course aside from our miss earth crown uh, miss earth queens who are going to draw you in with their charm, their beauty, and their wit tonight. Siyempre, we have another crowd drawer here. Our MEC heartthrob, ang crush ng baya. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our chief correspondent, Noe Sabitano. Na, Noe, I'm a boy. Gosh, I'm so pinig. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Emma, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Maraming salamat. Advance Merry Christmas is 15 days to go bago magpasko mga earthlings and we have an early Christmas gift for all of you because we have given you what you wanted since day one. We are here a very live right now with our 2022 Queen. So if you have any questions or shout outs, feel free to put them in the chat box or in the comments box later. And syempre naman, if you are liking this stream and our content, Drop your stars for us to make more quality content in the future for Miss Earth. Kamusta ka, Eman? How's everything there in Japan? Kamusta ka naman? How are you? It's winter here already. So, I know. You know I'm trying to keep my whole house up, but it's um, to no avail. <laughs> I can only heat one room. The rest, Japan does not have central heat. Central heating, yeah. so uh -huh. medyo malamig. It's kind of cold. Sending right the but virtual hug right now, Ems, for you. Thank you right very now. much. Thank you very <laughs> much. And I uh, hope to see you soon in Japan again. Okay, yes. so now, Noy, it's time for us to introduce, do the honors, and now we're going to introduce our queens who will be joining us tonight. Let's start with, no, Noy? Of course, our Miss Earth fire 2022 let's all welcome from colombia early in the morning andrea Mabu. yes Hi. good morning and good evening also i'm so happy to be here with you and to see my ecosystems again i'm already missing them and of course missing philippines <laughs> Yay! Miss, miss, misses you too. the filipino fans actually miss you a lot see so beautiful uh, Andrea, so that everybody knows, what time is it right now, yes. where you are? Right now, it's um, exactly like 7 in the morning. Wow, <laughs> good morning. She actually woke up earlier than this, so she woke up around. What time did you wake up today? I woke up today at, at 5. Oh, wow. oh my god, thank you very much. That's the most of that dedication right there. Yes. Thank you very oh much, Andrea. Way. Thank you very much. Our Miss oh, Earth Fire is here. I look so happy to see you all. You are so happy also. Thank you very much. Oh. And now, let us welcome, of course, our Miss Earth Water, no other than, none other than Miss Nadine Ayub from Palestine. Hi, Nadine. Hi. Hi, everyone. Nice seeing you. <laughs> Definitely nice seeing you as well. Thank you very much, of course. Thank you for you having me. I, we know that you're still enjoying your time right now, but thank you very much for making time for this. Yes, of course. I mean, it's my pleasure, and it's, it's a great chance to connect again with all the, the people, all the supporters. So thank you for having us. Yes. Thank you very much. And ho uh, we're going to try, of course, um, um, we're going to try to give you the queens and, of course, our earthlings a good time tonight. And of speaking course. of a good time, joining us, of course, for some good time tonight is our Miss Earth Air, Sheridan Mortla. Hello! Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so glad that we could manage to get an interview. <laughs> That's true. We are also so glad. Yeah, we're so happy um, that we were able to manage to get. But of course, we we are, we might not have caught you while you were still all together. But we're happy that it's happening now because at least you were able to rest and you know enjoy yes. a little bit more. Refresh right and recharge, so to say. That is true. Refresh and <laughs> recharge. And speaking of refreshed and recharged, somebody who 
really is lovely and looks refreshed and recharged every day. None other than our Miss Earth 2022 herself. Yay! Yes, from South Korea, Mina. Hey guys. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So glad to see all these girls across the world and I'm glad to be here. We are so glad that you are also here with us. Thank you very much. Right. So we are actually now we're diff in different time zones right now. So we asked um, Andrea what time it is right there. So um, Nadine is from the Philippines. Um, Sheridan is in Australia right now. So it's um, three hours. Um, yes, uh, 11 later. and 19. 11. <laughs> no, so if, if Andrea woke up uh, early for this, um, Sheridan is staying up a little bit late for this. So thank you. Yeah. Very I had much. a Red Bull, so I'm glad. <laughs> Red Bull. Oh gosh. Same here. Same here. I just had three cups of coffee right now. Mina, oh what time is it in, in South Korea right now? In Korea right now, it's 9 p.m. So it's actually pretty similar. But yeah. I do have to admit, I did take a nap for three hours right before the call. So that, that is great. Yeah, that is great. There you go. <laughs> Nothing like a three hour nap to energize you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. And this early, no, you know, this early, we haven't even started yes. yet. But we now, we have so many comments from our earthlings already. Wait, yes, you know me... what? Different time zones are not, the earthlings are not going to be stopped from putting their comments of love and appreciation for yes. our Earth Queens, right? Yes. Emma, you can show some of our fan comments right now. Yes, Michelle know... Stephanie is leading the way, yes. leading the way in, ha in the hashtag. So, of course, the pageant may be over, but of course, yes. the fun yes. has only started. So, please, hashtag Miss Earth, Miss Earth. For sure, our Earth Queens are missing the love from the fans right now. Are Definitely. Have missing the fan love from the yes. Filipinos and uh, the other Earthlings. How have, you, uh, how have you been missing them? Um, Sheridan, how have you been missing the fan love and the fan comments um, coming oh from the... <laughs> well, I only just arrived uh, back to Australia this morning, so I was receiving that love all the way up until I boarded the plane and once I got off and my phone started exploding again. So it still feels like, you know, I haven't completely disconnected yet, you know. I'm still in, in Australia, but still receiving so many beautiful messages from my Filipino fans. And hopefully oh we can all be back there again very, very soon. Correct. Definitely and more fan love, love. Emma, maybe we can show some yes. of them right now. Greetings from Tiara Holic's pageant page. Thank you very much. And also hello, Ayan. And um, Joe is saying hello. Um, Andrea, yes, definitely. Our uh, friend Linnell is saying hi. Thank you very much. Christina is saying mabuhay to everybody. And of course, Joe is also saying hi to Nadine. Definitely. There you go. So many. And um, Sheridan, she's greeting everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the um, greetings. And of course, Yuki Pasqua Pedron is saying hi, Uni. Uh, Mina, <laughs> yes, definitely. There you go. So many, so much love um, from everybody. And uh, we also have. Uh, yes, definitely. And uh, Mina, yes, definitely. So, so much, so much love. We're going to show more of your comments later on. Um, yes, <laughs> somebody said this. So, Richard said, Andrea is the early bird right now. <laughs> yes, she is. Thank you. We will be reading more of your comments later on. But right now, it's time, of course, to go and, and ask your queen. So, now it's been um, a few weeks since the pageant, Noy. So it's time to ask them how they're doing and, you know, uh, what they've been up to, right? Yes. First, I'd like to ask, of course, our Miss Earth Fire, Andrea. Um, yes. It's been how many weeks since the foreign nation has it sunk in yet? How how was, um, how was has been life like after being crowned Miss Earth Fire? And how was the reception back there? Since, you know, Colombia is a big uh, pageant country. How was the reception by all of your fans, all of your family members back there in Colombia? Well, for me, it's been a whole dream come true. Yeah. Colombia is extremely happy. I've received a lot of messages. Like, my country was really proud and it makes me so, 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 like, honored because I could represent them with love, with passion. So these days have been full of love, like I have received. Uh, love from everywhere, Philippines and of course Colombia and they are just so excited with me that we have the first fire crown for Colombia because already yes. uh, have the water and and the air crown so it's like yes we, we got a new one and they love yes. it so 
it's been just magical like a dream <laughs> great i just like to emphasize that no andrea because it's been how many years since colombia placed on miss earth specifically how do you feel that you were the one who brought back colombia in the elemental court of miss earth for so many years you were the one who was able to do that yes well i am i have always think that colombia uh, queens work very hard for the pageant and miss earl of course because we put a lot of energy and a lot of effort we do have a very good preparation so it was a challenge because the other queens before me they did an amazing job yes. so i wanted to do it too and i think i did my best and i put colombia again in the top four after this uh, pandemic time and we show the air that how colombian women are like super powerful with all the other candidates and i i just wanted to show my beautiful culture the colombian which is so kind so happy like we're full of energy full of joy for everybody and i think i could i could do it so it's just yes. fantastic <laughs> fantastic yeah. it's such a strong comeback for Colombia at Mr. Right. We're going to talk more about your win and yeah. of course yes. the wonderful experiences from from you Andrea in a little bit. Now let's go Emma. Do you have any questions now for our water queen Nadine? Yes. Now let's go hi. to Nadine. Nadine, hi. hi thank you very much. Everyone. We know that you are um I, we know that you are still in the Philippines right now. Yes. Um, what yes. made like right after the pageant um you know people have been you've been you've done like the, the media rounds mm -hmm. what made you stay in the philippines i really wanted to explore some more of the philippines and you know i was just not done <laughs> seeing it because you know during the competition we were so busy working and you know it was more about uh we were competing pretty much so that is true. maybe we didn't get as much of a chance to just like enjoy it at a more relaxed pace yeah. so you know i wanted i wanted to see the philippines without having you know the competition on my mind or work mm -hmm. on my mind i want to mm -hmm. see it um in all its beauty and really just so in. and i mean like as much as we're going around we're not seeing enough because there's just so much to see so i'm hoping like even when i leave so i'm leaving on tuesday but I'm hoping to come back not very long after and enjoy even more of it. So it's been really nice. There's there's yeah. going to be a lot more to enjoy um, in the future in the coming months. It, you know what we love about um, you, Nadine, is that you know how to give um, what the proper energy for a certain stage of the competition and even right after. It's like you know how to give <laughs> your energy you. during the virtual rounds you know what kind of energy to give during the metal rounds and now you know how to enjoy it without having the competition in your mind such yeah great, <laughs> such grace in planning thank you know you. so thank you very much but now that you are enjoying the philippines without any competition in mind what has been the best memory or the best yeah. uh, time that you've had so far that's a hard question because I've had such amazing moments, but I think just the best part of the the whole experience is getting to know beautiful ladies across the world, really learning from them and learning about their culture and making these bonds and connections that, you know, these experiences you're going to carry with you forever. And the bonds that I've made with these ladies, my ecosisters, you know, and even the girls that were in a competition just i think that is really the best part and even now you know i'm actually um touring with nelly's and paulina mm -hmm. which is miss puerto wow. rico 2022 nice. and we're just having like a lot of fun so just having these bonds and of course like also bonding with the filipino people it's it's been magical thank wow. you very much yeah, magical yes. definitely and also a magical moment uh you know be, you being here um, in the Philippines. It's just magical for your supporters. Thank you very yes. much. Your own yes, of, of course. Mm. And actually, I'm in Tuberon tomorrow. We have a motorcade. I'm going to go around to just thank the, the fans and the supporters. You know, I really want to show my appreciation because Yay. truly this Exciting. isn't possible without the support of the, the Philippines. That is great. And speaking of supporters and support, we're going to talk more about that later on yes. in terms of support that you have been receiving, not only in the Philippines, but in different parts of the world. 
But right yeah. now, we're going to go to Sheridan for um, let's go. In, let's let's see how Sheridan is doing right now. Noi. Hello. Yes. <laughs> now, Sheridan. Speaking of magical moment, how was how magical was it? Is it has has been so far after being crowned Miss Earth Air? Because I know you've been have the time of your life after being crowned. Maybe you can walk us through how is experience like so far. Yeah, so um, I've actually been very, very lucky. I was able to go to Barokai right after wow, the crowning. Boy, lucky so you. I just came back from there. So I was there for five or six days. Just again, similar to what Nadine was talking about, to be able to soak up the Philippines without stressing about competition or anything. So, you know, we went jet skiing, we went uh, helmet diving, we went parasailing. Wow. <laughs> and my family was able to come with me as well. So we just really got to fully soak in the philippine beauty and it was just i already can't wait to go back <laughs> my gosh i envy you because i've not been to boracay ever since oh my the gosh. pandemic next time i go we'll all go together yeah <laughs> yes we, will. we should we should that's that's one thing for sure but then in terms of your win how has been the fan reception like i mean of course all of you have been a fan favorites a lot of you were a lot of them were rooting for the four of you to win either one of the elemental songs but then you specifically you've been receiving a lot of fan love from all over the world i mean yeah. what was it the, what how, how's the reception like uh, from the it fans after your really, win really really great and like i've had fan support from the moment i was crowned miss earth australia which i am very very grateful for i've had fans follow me from since day one and it's just grown exponentially since then and i remember actually on coronation night my parents were able to join last minute they weren't originally able to make it and they came and the miss earth australia team organized a big crowd there for me so when i walked out i just saw in the corner this mass of australian flags just wow. shouting and cheering and it really lifted my spirits and so when i got the air title you know they were just like oh, yes yes go share it and you know finally able to bring back australia into the miss earth competition that is one more question for you, um, Sheridan, because since you, 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 uh, you've mentioned you've been in Boracay and you've been yes. touring the Philippines, what was one Philippine food you've been binging on? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, when we were in Boracay, actually, we tried the famous um, lemon cakes that are there. I forget the official name. I think it's after the C. Um, from Real Coffee Cafe because um, Adam from Hey Adam, he recommended yes. it to me. And Great. so those were delicious. But something that I will definitely miss is I personally will miss the Jolly Bee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You're not alone like, there. You're not alone there. Yeah. But uh, my boyfriend, I, I introduced him to Monk in a sal and now he's craving wow. it. Since he's been back. So we're definitely going to have to come back over and have another yes. Monk bag. <laughs> okay, we promise in MEC that the four of you are gonna do like a Jollibee party when you come back here in the Philippines for our crown. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> the next I week, right? We can go. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Charity yeah. is reminding me of all the things that I also miss in the Philippines, right? But um, before we go to our, of course, our Miss Earth, I just like to yes. uh, give a shout out to the people who are watching on Kumu on the Kumu Yay. app right now. Sir Kenny. Thank you guys. Hello, Sir Kenny, and of course, JJ. Music is also watching us right now. Um, Paul Garchi Torena, Jos De La Vina is also watching us right now. Hello, everybody on Kumu, and of course to everyone who's watching on um, our YouTube channel as well. So now let us go to our Miss Earth 2022. Hey, yes, Selena. Um, we were just asking of, um, 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 Sheridan about her favorites. Um, now you're back in Korea, but what are some of the things um, that you experienced or had in the Philippines that you were like? Oh, I wish I had them in Korea as well. <laughs> I mean, I think it's definitely the crowd of supporters because when I was in the Philippines, I'm so used to people asking for photos, people asking, oh my God, are you um, Miss Korea? But in Korea, you know, pageantry in the past, for uh, up until now, it hasn't been very popular. So I'm very missing all the supporters from the Philippines and the warm weather because Korea is extremely cold right now, similar to Japan. So right, yeah, that's right, what I right. miss the most. The the pageant supporters, definitely for sure. That is true. I saw the I saw your photos. Um, those were like your your K drama moment. It's like so beautiful, <laughs> so majestic, Correct. so glossy, snowy photo. Um, but in terms of um, you know, support, you also um came back to Korea with um some support supporters um in the, at the airport. But right now, what kind of um what kind of support or 
cheers are you getting from people around you, um, from the people who support you in Korea? Right. So my actually crowning moment, it was historic for Korean pageantry. So right. that, it actually brought some noise in Korea. But unfortunately, because of soccer, it kind of died out because Korea <laughs> is super obsessed with soccer, but understandable. But I was on the news and we've never broadcast about any news exactly. when it comes to pageantry, but it was the first time where um, they broadcasted on like national TV and it was all over YouTube. My final answer was viral on YouTube in Korea. So I'm right, getting a right. lot of love from Korean moms because they're obsessed with learning English and about <laughs> education. So they've been hey. like English academies. They've been using my videos saying, oh my gosh, you guys need to grow up like this. So. <laughs> I, I think that's go. a good change. That's a good change for sure. And I actually had a few people recognize me on the streets, which was very unexpected. Yeah, I was walking on the street and someone just came up to me and was like, hey, are you the girl from the news? I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it it wasn't was me. <laughs> that's definitely me. I think it's just going to go, uh, it's just going to get bigger from here. Um, so I'm be prepared. Yeah, yes. yeah, be prepared for that. And. Um, you know, yeah, we actually saw um, a news um, item from from a news outlet um, that now has more than three million views in county. I think. Yes. How do you feel yes. about that, Nina? Yeah. Yes. yeah. How do you feel about that? About um, the that's, views. You know, the two days after the coronation night, that's when it was first released, I believe, mm -hmm. and. I couldn't sleep at night because I was re-watching it over and over again. I think I watched it at least 100 <laughs> times. I couldn't sleep until 3 a.m. Um, <clears throat> sorry. That was a time I was rooming with Sheridan at, at the hotel. And yeah. I, that's the reason why I couldn't sleep because I was re-watching the video. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I, I mean, if that had happened to me, I would be like watching it a thousand times like this you know? like my like, mom's been watching it at least a million times i'm pretty sure like for the million counts it's probably <laughs> it's yeah yeah it's for all of those views she has a million shares in those watch thank you very yeah. much that was so much fun <laughs> yeah now um we are going to go to our next segment. so we are done like um catching up a little bit with our queens and so now it's time for us speaking of memories and speaking of bringing back um, memories since we're, we've been talking about memories we are going to go to our next segment which is called the snapshots okay so for snapshots we are going to show our queens some photos from any from moments um, taken from the, the pageant the course of the pageant and we would like each queen on the photo to um, give a little backstory um, of those about those photos or your emotions during that time because you know I'm sure Photos have a lot of stories behind them. So that is the, uh, the point of our next segment, to know the stories behind these photos. So let's go to our next segment, our snapshots, beginning with this very, very fun photo. So we have wow. Andrea and Sheridan <laughs> in this photo. This was during the opening number, I believe, of uh, the Miss Earth Coronation Night. Walk us through the feeling that you were having during, you know, of course, this the, the top 20 hasn't been announced yet, but you were just all on stage. Uh, Mark was there, our editor-in-chief was there, and, she was, and he was like, it was the most fun that he's had in a long time watching the opening number, especially live. Andrea, you were, you were smiling so big and looking like you were having fun here. Can you tell us about what you were feeling during um, during this moment? Yes, I loved that moment. I have to recognize that the opening was my favorite part of the show because I enjoyed it so much. Like before the show, I think we all were like um, kind of excited, also a little yeah. bit exhausted. So it was like a, a time for me to say, this is the moment, this is it. So I got all the energy I had inside of me and I put it on the stage and <laughs> I enjoyed that dance so much you don't have an idea i was like down down with right <laughs> true so true strange. yeah we like, saw you enjoying yeah, yeah yeah we saw you enjoying that a lot for so me it was like this is the moment so let's enjoy it we worked very hard for this so this is it let's go andrea go for it like <laughs> that's amazing that yeah, is amazing. i was so happy and i was seeing all the girls dancing around me they all are doing so good like wow i love that moment i really love it i give it my heart forever 
<laughs> oh, that is so nice. We love that moment too. Like seeing everybody just enjoy um, the moment on camera and everything. Speaking of enjoying the moment, somebody else is enjoying the moment right here in this photo. That is Sheridan. Sheridan, um, how about you? What were you feeling um, during this moment? Oh my gosh. So I actually remember during rehearsals when we were doing the where everyone was going to go and Cuba and Colombia were in front of me on either side and I was very, very thankful for that because they're my fire group girls and they're also some of the most energetic dancers. So I'm like, okay, as long as I match their level, we're going to be good. So I just like looked to them and be like, okay, let's do this. And then I remember when we walked out on stage for the very first time and the audience was so loud that I actually couldn't hear the music. So I think for the first half, we were on the top half of the stage and a couple of us were like missing our cues because we couldn't hear like the beats and rhythms. But it's like, you had so much fun anyway. And then when you walked down to the front of the stage, we got the rhythm back and just gave our best performance. Right, yeah, oh see. A lot of things that we see on TV, like, um, and, but you know, when you hear the individual stories of the Queens, it's it gives the opening number so much more vibe you know so much more fun so thank you very much for sharing that um to us and now let's go to the next um photo um speaking of fun oh so now here is our next snap shot we're going to wow. give the highlight to andrea look at that uh, we have here two photos one of course showing you um in one of the medal rounds and of course the the other photo showing uh, your medal achievements <laughs> what do you feel about um, all of these um, photos right here, Andrea. Oh my God, that was a swim sweet competition night. And I had much fun also that day. Everything happened. Like, oh my God, you don't have idea. That day, <laughs> the stage was beautiful. Oh my God, Mr. Organization did something gorgeous at the beach and the stage was opening and you do it like uh, different. But then just in the moment we were gonna start, the rain came like <laughs> right, right. the earth said okay girls you're equal warriors you have to do this in my way so it started raining <laughs> <laughs> put our shoes out and we did it inside and it was just so fun because people was all over there waiting for us so you feel the warm love of people and the fans and everything so no i just have fun like i when i start to remember every moment i realize that i really enjoy it like uh the medals and everything i always wanted to do my best and it's beautiful because over there i was uh with cuba in chile it was the winners of the americas and cuba was in fire too so and it was so nice as sheridan said because we were always like um cheering for each other like it's sheridan got it or cuba or like it was like fire so it was like so beautiful and yeah the medals was like a very a very nice <laughs> part yes. of it of the competition yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so some of them. You, we want to ask this andrea um so because during that time many people were worried about oh my god what will ha what will happen to our queens are they gonna get sick what's going but during that time um among the queens you and other queens what was the real like atmosphere the real feeling during that time well about the raining yes about the raining well, no, I think we were very positive. We were worried that we couldn't do the show, uh, mm -hmm. mostly, but we solved it as real eco warriors and we did it amazing inside, no heels, but we actually did it. So I feel very proud that we could fix it as uh, Miss Earth Sisters and of course the organization, because at the end of the day, no matter how this stage is, if it's big or small, but the important is the show, the important is the performance of the candidates. And we did it amazing. Like we all did our best. So right. that matters. Yeah. Right. I yeah. know, right? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Did your best. But now when it started rain, we just run to the to the process. Maybe my hair was looking so bad. I see the picture and it was like boom. <laughs> oh. You wow. can see yeah. Well, those are things that many people don't realize but i was like yeah. my hair was it's not supposed to look like that <laughs> oh really it still looks beautiful though right yeah oh my god speaking of looking beautiful thank you very much for sharing that andrea see so earthlings you know they were they were on um, a positive vibe during that time so you know 
um, these are earthlings. Our queens are definitely go-getters and ready for anything, right? Oh, Speaking yeah. of ready for anything, Noy, um, here's our next snapshot. Yes. Of course, for Sheridan. Sheridan, I think this was during the press presentation, right? Yes. <laughs> Maybe you can walk us through. What was it like presenting yourselves? I think this is the very first time you presented yourselves to the uh, members of the press and as official uh, um, candidates to Miss Earth. What was the atmosphere like and what was the experience like during the press conference? Well, the atmosphere was electric. It was sort of the first time that all of us girls were able to go on stage and present ourselves and there was an audience and the location itself was just so beautiful as well. So I think we're all very excited, if not a little bit nervous. Um, and I remember walking and then I get the microphone and there was a slight delay actually on the microphone. <laughs> so it sort of echoed and I got a little bit confused. I think it threw a couple of people off maybe. But um, it was like you talked and then like one second later you would hear it. And so you just had to power through and try not to hear what you were saying at the same time so that you don't repeat it twice, you know. Right. Um, but it was fantastic and it was such a beautiful, beautiful venue. And, you know, we were all very happy. And that day I got a darling of the press for Asia, which I was so, so happy about, you know, a lot of the pageant bloggers in the Philippines and internationally, I just am in love with. And so I was so happy that they voted for me as their darling of the press. Correct. I'd like to emphasize on that, Sherry, then, no, because um, the pageant bloggers or the pageant media, specifically here in the Philippines, have been so supportive of the whole Miss Earth journey. How was the experience like dealing with our members or our friends from the press or our friends from the pageant media here in the Philippines? It was really, really good. You know, there, I didn't have any negative experiences with any of them. You know, every interview, it was just so much fun. And, you know, it's like you couldn't get enough nearly. I wanted to get to everybody, but that day was so incredibly hectic. Um, so mm. I only could get to a couple. And I remember coming off and I was so hungry and I really wanted to eat. <laughs> I just kept going left and right and left and right as I was doing different yes. interviews. Right, the security right. had to come over and be like, come on, come on, you have to eat, you have to eat. <laughs> they dragged me backstage so I could finally have some food. <laughs> There you go. And I'd like to emphasize on this other photo because aside, of course, from Andrea, you're also one of the most awarded queens for this batch of Miss Earth. What was, how do you feel about um, winning all of these awards and special citations from our, of course, uh, LGU, our local government units and our partners for Miss Earth? It was very, very humbling and it also kept my fire burning, you know, so uh, I think the people don't realize, I think, is that a lot of the awards don't actually impact the final score for yes, the night, yes. but it's a really great idea. And a lot of the girls, I think, appreciated having that time to sort of get the nerves out on stage before the actual event. And so to be able to win some awards leading up to it, it just really kept the motivation going and yes. it kept the fans behind me cheering for me like, oh, good job, keep going. And I think one of my favorite awards to win was actually the Miss Congeniality Award, because that's something I've always Always, you know, felt very, very blessed and humbled to have. And I had such a fun time in Romblon with that. And, you know, I just can't wait to go back. It was one of my favorite provinces that the fire group visited. Um, so that was definitely one of my, my favorite moments and favorite awards that I did receive. You know, yes, I'd like to um, also highlight that, no, Eman. Uh, if you watch yeah. the final show during their <laughs> after the final coronation, when the, um, the girls went in the center stage I and mean, it was like a real moment of friendship and camaraderie from the batch right it was yes. so heartwarming right oh my gosh i wish I'm, I'm so like i have made so many friends in fire group and not just in fire group but a couple of the other girls as well when we did have those small moments where everybody was together and i miss them all so much already it's sort of bittersweet when it comes to an end because we're all so excited but we all live so far away now but you know thank god to social media we can stay connected but i am yeah. already missing my earth sisters that is Great. true. Nice. Thank you yes. so much, Sheridan, for sharing your experiences both in the press presentation and during your awarding of the like the special awards and citations. Great job. And it's like, I'd like to say congratulations also to all of the ladies who won special awards. So those to all of them as well. Right, Emma? Yes, definitely. There you go. Now, um, I'd like to before I um before I show her photos, uh, I'd like to ask um Nadine first. Um, we saw an interview where you had an interesting point of view 
about um, about the metal rounds and about like mm -hmm. compartmentalizing your energy and just enjoying the moment, right? Tell us about um, tell us about that. So because uh, during the metal rounds, you were there giving your giving your best and just having fun. And what was your uh, point of view regarding that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's amazing as Sheridan said that you know the medals and award definitely can encourage you and motivate you, and that's amazing. I'm so and I was so happy for all the girls that got them, and even in my group, my closest friends were ones that like got the most awards and medals, which is fantastic. Um, for me, um, you know, I was really having fun with it, and I was trying my best, and it was it was such an amazing time. I didn't get any medals or awards, and I think that sometimes girls may get discouraged or feel like you know maybe um or you know they could slow down mentally i guess or get affected if they don't get awards and medals and that actually is what could sabotage them or discourage them rather than actually you know um anything else you know mm -hmm. it's not not getting medals or awards it's actually a mental kind of thing right. where if you don't get it so i was always kind of even even if I didn't, I was always like, okay, yeah. And my supporters definitely helped me with that, mm -hmm. telling me that it doesn't really have a bearing on the final score, which which it, which it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I know that I gave my best, and I gave my best energy also in the virtual rounds, and um, I had a lot of fans and supporters for that. So I think when it came time for like the the medals and awards and shows, I you know I was I was being kind of strategic as well about it where. Yeah. I didn't, it, you know, I wanted to kind of save my energy more for the grand finale when it really mm -hmm. mattered and the scoring was higher because I, I knew already that my scoring was very well in, in the virtual round. So I just, I didn't really like let that get to me. I mean, I was kind of like, okay, if I get medals and awards, that's amazing. And, and there's more reason to be motivated. And if not, it's okay. I have the strength and confidence. And I always say I have like a stubborn confidence where I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I I'm still gonna make it. <laughs> you know? So it was, it was okay. I was like, it's okay. I don't, I don't get awards. It's fine. It's fine. As long as I get like the real award. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So it, 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 it can definitely go both ways, but that's what we admire about you. It's like you're, you know, it's like your you. resolve, yes. your, your persistence, and you know, just the, yeah. the the mental fortitude that you have. You know, to not be discouraged. But you know, speaking of support, Nadine. The, the the photo that we are about to show is um all about wow. the support and uh, that you oh, are wow. getting <laughs> right now right after the pageant um you are yeah. making waves and uh, making news definitely um uh, but right now you are getting a lot of support and also some mm -hmm. criticism um mm -hmm. regarding your win what can you say about these two sides um in the community that are okay hmm. um you know i actually look at more of the positivity and the encouragement that i'm getting and the support because that's like way more than criticism yes. i think in general when you have success and you're making headlines and you're out there in the public eye and you know i i am in the public eye in the middle east and the arab world right now very very much i mean it's it's expected to have certain criticisms i mean that's just part of it and you can't have, you can't let that get to you. Um, and I think that happens everywhere in the world. Like look at, you know, other, other, you know, big superstars or celebrities, they all have criticism as well. You look at the comment section, there's going to be criticism, but that's not to say that, um, you know, I'm not getting positivity because with one negative comment, I have 1 million people backing me up from my nation and my people and my, you know, my country. And that's what I choose to look at and exactly. allow to drive me. Exactly. And speaking of the driving force, Nadine, um, mm -hmm. what does this mean to you? What what is the, what positive impact does this win bring to you and uh, to the Arab world? Of course, I think you know it's the first time I think in history where Palestine does get a crown. It does rank, uh, which is super amazing. And I think I brought a confidence to my nation, and you know. The, a confidence in winning and being successful and not just beauty competitions but in everything and it made them very proud especially like hearing my q a my questions or sorry my answers and you know seeing me on stage and fighting 
uh, to really make them proud. I think they're really supportive because of that. And, you know, I haven't really even, I haven't gotten back to Palestine or the Arab world, but I'm already receiving so much support and they're, they're waiting for me there. So, you know, I'm kind of like right now, okay, I'm, I'm kind of relaxed, not, not fully relaxing, but I'm kind of like, okay, let me recharge before I start with like another media storm in the Middle East. That's true. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's why a lot of people here in the comment section are like, Saying Nadine is such a strong, intelligent woman, that's quality. Thank you. Her. I mean, it's, of course, the Filipino supporters really pushed me as well. I mean, you know, they stood with me. They, I saw so much love and warmth from them. And I think that's also a reason why I feel like I want to stay and show my love and my, and yeah. I want to thank them. Yeah. You know, and I really thank all of, all of the supporters. They, I, I call them, you know, during my, my journey, I called them my pals. Because <laughs> of palace time. That's I'm true. Like, okay, I love my pals, you know, my friends. So you guys are still my pals. <laughs> definitely. Thank you very much. That's, that's definitely going to stick. They're going to be your of pals. Of course. Right? So that's your, love your, my yeah, pals. Your supporters, your, your supporters <laughs> that they're going to be your pals. And uh, sure. speaking of supporters, of course, one queen who has a lot of support is uh, our, our definitely our Miss Earth 2022, right, Noy? Yes, and now it's our time to show the photo for our Queen Mina, our Miss Earth 2022. Can you tell us the story behind this beautiful photo? Wow, really um, natural look here. What was uh, the story behind this photo? Um, so I actually was taking it with my phone. I asked someone to take that video for me in the cinematic mode. Uh, we were at Seattle and at Negros Oriental. And we were on our way to go tree planting. And I remember that exact day, because usually I'm putting a lot of makeup on. Um, I'm a pageant girl, so I do need to put makeup on and need to look you know, good on a normal basis. But that day, um, I felt really good in my own skin. So I was, might as well you know, show them my natural look. So I was like, let's go makeup list and just look good. And I was taking a lot of videos and I thought I looked great. So I decided to make TikTok videos on it just recently. So yeah. There oh, you go. Great my skin. Yeah. Yes. Great. And of course, you mentioned that this was during your trip to Negros Oriental, right? One of the provinces here in the Philippines. As a whole, Queen Mina, what was the experience like going around the Philippines in your journey as Miss Earth? What was it like touring the Philippines? Um, so I always saw myself as a very global person, um, but I realized that I have so much more to see in this world. Um, I'm a city girl. I've always resided in cities and Seoul and the heart of the city. But through this trip, I really got to see a lot more of the world. I feel like even within the Philippines, we were traveling so much, seeing different people. And even though it's just all Filipino, all Philippines, I realized there's like a difference depending on like which areas you go to. So I thought it was very nice. And it's another reminder that, yeah, you have so much more to see in this world. Yeah. Definitely. Great. That's a really yes. great answer, Mina. Um, now I'd like to emphasize on these medals. I'd like now to twist the question a little bit, no? What was the mindset like for you, Mina, going into the medal rounds? Was the mindset to win more and more medals or were just there also to have fun? Yeah. yeah. Um, so after hearing Nadine's answer about, you know, being strategic, saving your energy for the last day, it, yeah. <laughs> it, it was like a, like a punch because for me, um, I worked very hard in every competition and I was very stressed out and, you know, I was constantly winning awards in like almost most competitions, uh, but yes. my last one was the talent show and that's the only round where I didn't win any awards. And, you know, as much as I want to stay optimistic, it's very... I felt gutted. I, w I was mm. like, oh gosh, for the last one, just a few days before the competition, this is where I just like, I, I don't do well in this performance. So I was mm. a little bit upset, but then I uh, I did you know, realize that, you know, I could do better in the final one too. It's okay, it's okay. But I don't know if you've actually heard, but the day before the competition, I was yes. actually sick. 
So I think it's all the energy I put into every single competition just hitting me at once. Um, yeah, I was very stressed out. And the day before, I, I guess it just hit me mentally and physically. That's why I was very sick. But thankfully, I'm, I'm very grateful for the adrenaline rush we felt yeah. um, right before the competition. And on top of that, um, I couldn't, I saw the supporters that I had on the, during the day of the competition. So that definitely made me uh, keep going, finish very strong till the end. And I don't know if you noticed on stage, but I kept on crossing my heart like this. True, you seeing, did. Yes. Seeing my supporters just cheer, Korea, Korea. And the moment I made eye contact with one of the audience members, my dad, that's when I was like, oh gosh, I really need to push it. I, I can do better. I can really finish strong. I think that's why I got so emotional on stage. I kept on crossing my heart like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you know yeah. what, right, Emman? Because it is, if we just imagine the pressure that, that the girls were in, specifically during the coronation. And speaking the thing of the coronation, Queen Nina, can you walk us through this moment, this magical moment when you were crowned by Destiny Wagner as the first person? What was the whole moment? You know, I couldn't process the entire thing for at least a week. So imagine that I couldn't process anything. Anything like the crowning moment, I remember, um, I, I just said, oh my gosh, I, I think I remember talking to Destiny saying, I can't believe this happened. <laughs> yeah, I think you're <laughs> like, in this she's like, she's like, look, look at the front, so like, we can crown you, look at the front. Like, oh, okay, okay, look at the front. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was in shock and I had a hard time processing it and I'm still having a hard time processing it even to this day. Um, but yeah, it was a very surreal moment and I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. But so when I, for, because it's, it felt so unreal when I was first crowned, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't sad. I wasn't feeling anything. I was just like, oh my gosh, what, what just happened? But it, it hit me when the girls were coming around hugging us and yes. I was for Panama, um, Miss Earth Panama. She was just crying. She said, congratulations. And I had all of my not only air group sisters but like friends i've made from other groups as well other elemental groups they were coming up to me saying we're so happy that you became miss earth and we're oh all in a competition God. together but to hear that from someone you're competing with it's right. i i don't even know how to describe it but it just broke my heart in a way in a good way it, yeah Correct. it made me so emotional yeah and i'm very grateful and yeah, I'm so grateful for the sisters I met and very thankful and I miss them a lot. Yeah. Correct. You know what? I'd like to highlight that, um, Eman as well. No, I think the validation coming from your co-competitors is really something else because mm. they were the ones who were with you during your journey to Miss Earth 2022, right? Now yes. speaking of one one final question, um, Queen Nina, who are you um still in contact with aside from our elemental queens right now? You're constantly messaging through like uh, maybe Facebook or Messenger or whatever oh, app. So many. <laughs> um, well, Paulina, um, I know she's busy um, with Nadine, but I hope she replies back <laughs> soon. Um, and Zico from South Africa, Joyce. I know she called me earlier, but I was sleeping, so I didn't pick up. From Zambia, Oriana from Venezuela, wow. and Jenny from the Philippines. Yes. I'm like. There me so many. Maru from Iran. So I'm, I'm still keeping wow. up with a lot of girls right now. Yeah. You know what? It's really um really nice to know, no Emma, and that this is I think the, the most closely knit batches that we've ever had on Miss Earth, ever. It's like I a can really see it. a great experience so far, right, Emma? I agree. I agree. Definitely. Definitely. See. Um, these ladies are all awesome. I think Andrea um, signal drop, but uh, we'll okay. see. We'll wait for her. Um, but uh, you know, um, our, so much love from our um, Earthlings, right? An awesome interview from YouTube. Um, Becky Lou Blanco, awesome interview. Such lovely, intelligent queens, including our queen host. <laughs> We're okay. now the queen host. Thank okay, you. For sure. The <laughs> definitely, definitely. There you go. Thank you very much for all the love uh, that you have been showing, and thank you so much for our queens for answering those questions, um, honestly, and very uh, those lovely answers that you had. And now, of course, we've been asking them some like um, questions about their reflections, about things that they remember. But now it's time to, um, speaking of questions, one of the 
favorite, most favorite parts of the Miss Earth competition is the hashtag round. Wow. We're reliving yes. the moment. That yes, so we're going to relive <laughs> the moment with a twist right now. Because right now, what we're going to do is uh, the hashtag round with a twist. So that's what we're going to do right now. So during the time, of course, each of our queens, when they were um, in the semifinals, they were asked um, hashtag. They were asked, they were given some hashtags that they had to expound and explain. So right now, we are going to flash those hashtags, hashtags again, but a different queen will be answering the hashtag. And since um, um, our Miss Earth 2022, um, Nina is already uh, on the top of the of our screen right now. So we will be going with her first. Pressure much? Right. <laughs> yes, there you go. Oh, that's pressure so much. This is a lot of pressure. I might right? pressure the next five. <laughs> but you know, right now, right now, we, there's no more time limit. You know, you can answer um, already of the way you want. Yeah, there you go. Welcome back, Andrea. Thank you very much. Now, so this hashtag was actually originally um, given to Nadine, and now it's your turn to expound on the hashtag open-minded. What do you say about it? Um. Okay. Oh, should I begin? Yes. Well, thank you for the hashtag. My hashtag <laughs> is open-minded. I think it's very important for us to be open-minded because when it comes to issues as climate issues and a lot of social issues in this world, we need to be open-minded and understand each other's point of views, other people's perspectives. So I do believe the solution to um, combating conflicts in this world is being open-minded. Amazing! There so, you go. I feel like that was so vague, but... <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's another crown for you. Congratulations. <laughs> right? Definitely, I agree. The key to solving a lot of issues is being open-minded right now. Right? Yeah. And I think Nadine is like nodding like in agreement. <laughs> yes. like the follow up to her very good answer. Oh. Nadine gave a very, very good answer to that hashtag. And Thank Nina's you. answer right now was a good, good follow up for that. No, it was. Now, it's your choice. Who's going to go next? Okay, let's of course um, have the comeback queen from the stream. Andrea, are you ready? So since we lost you for a little bit, I yes. hope you're ready for your hashtag. All right. So yes. your hashtag was um, Emmon originally given it to? To originally given to Sheridan. Oh. And this time, you are going to answer and uh, give your explanation, expound on the hashtag fairness. Okay. Uh, thank you. Well, fairness, it should be the real purpose of society. We have to keep fighting for half a fair world especially talking about environmental issues because we still don't 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 have fairness we just take care of each other we are like very selfish as human beings and we're forgetting to be also looking for the justice with the environment so i think it's our big responsibility to keep working for a justice earth a justice planet not just for the human rights but also for our environment. Oh, that wow. Is right? That's that was an amazing great answer. answer. That's true. Very That's true. We, yeah. Yeah, we always I love all the hashtags. Work. I love all the answers. Like Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, all the answers. <laughs> your answer was great too. And now your answer to this hashtag is great. We agree definitely aside from pushing for human rights, we also have to be fair and just to our mother earth. Yeah. Fairness for yes. mother. Earth. Definitely. And now, um, since this question, the hashtag fairness, um, was given to um, Sheridan before, Sheridan. now it's Sheridan's turn to answer um, another hashtag. Okay? And this time, you're going to answer the hashtag that was given to our queen, Nina, and that is loyalty. 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 
Well, climate change is a little bit of a trend these days. We're getting a lot of, and just like trends, you know, unfortunately it means that it comes and goes. And so we see a lot of people talk a lot of big words, but unfortunately they don't follow through with action. So what we need is we need people to remain loyal to their environmental causes, especially those in higher positions and just the everyday individual. We need people to stick to their promises and we need, you know, like I remained loyal to my environmental advocacy for over five years and with or without a crown, it is something that I'm going to continue actively pursuing. And so loyalty is preserving through not just the easy times, but also the adverse times. And it is loyalty that is desperately needed to save our planet, loyalty to the environment, loyalty to ourselves, but most importantly, loyalty to each other. Wow. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. We have to be loyal to our earth, you know. Our earth is our mother. So, you know, we have our earth has needs to regain um that trust in us. Yes. Thank you very much, <laughs> And of course, last but not the least, um answering the question that was originally given to Andrea yeah. um, is Nadine. And Nadine, of course, your hashtag right now is integrity. Integrity. Yes. Oh, am I, I'm not on the screen. It says loyalty on the screen, oh, but sorry. okay. Now it's on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. there you go. Here you are. Okay, integrity. Integrity is extremely important to create a better world for us. And integrity comes with respect for each other and respect to our environment. So without integrity, we cannot actually respect our environment and put it first and as a priority to protect. And it all starts with having integrity and loving each other and loving our planet Earth. In order to save it, we must have integrity and put it first. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much, right? Yeah, before we are able to save our Mother Earth, we have to um, be able to have integrity within ourselves first. Yeah. Within ourselves. Okay. What a beautiful answer. Thank you very much, Nadine, for that wonderful thank answer. You. Actually, thank you very much to all our queens. Let's give them a round of applause. Um, Earthlings. Yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Equal power. Yes. And so, again, Kimi Sioko is saying uh, that's Miss Halista. There you go. Powerful yeah, answers there. again. Well, of course, what do we expect from um, our queens? But only powerful, intelligent answers. Correct. Yes. There you go. Now, now, whoo, now let's be, let's stretch and and now just have some fun without the pressure this time. Um, we have asked <laughs> our queens to prepare some pieces of paper with the names of each queen on. The fun each part team. begins. There you go. And now the fun part begins. <laughs> Now the fun part begins, right? So now we are going to play a game called What's the name of the game? I forgot. <laughs> the name of the game is Most likely Miss to Earth. Yes, Miss yes. Earth's superlatives are most likely to. Actually, Evan, we're gonna invite the fans as well, no? They can also write their answers of who they think is most likely to in the comment section. That's true. So we can show, right? That is true. That is true. So Earthlings, since you have been engaging with us, thank you so much. I love the Earthlings for always, always, always engaging with us down at the comment section on yes. all our platforms on, on Facebook and YouTube. And also on Kumu, I'd like to say hi to Ad Ake Anna Budic. The little Dino. Dino, hello, Dino. And of Hi, course, guys. Zero Eight on Kumu. They're watching on Kumu right now. So, yes. we're going to give um, our queens a situation, most likely to something, most likely to blank. And they will um, raise the paper with the name of the queen they think fits the category. Okay? So, our first most likely to is this. Who do you think, queens, who do you think is most likely to be emotional? Oh. while watching a romantic movie okay and account of we, in the account of we have to show one, one two, two oh sorry two, <laughs> three okay there you go so let's highlight them who do you think would most likely <laughs> really? be emotional so <laughs> <laughs> andrea 
Um, I think Andrea <laughs> wins this round. <laughs> yeah, Andrea <laughs> also. Andrea and says uh, you're still. Very done. Ask Sheridan why do you think Andrea is most likely to cry while watching a romantic film? <laughs> I mean, I got to hang out with Andrea on Fire Group, and she just seems very in touch with emotion, but mostly like mm. loving. You know, like Aww. I feel like she would really get into the movie and just connect with the emotion so much. <laughs> Andrea, do you agree with the answer? <laughs> Actually, I do. <laughs> the morning of the final show, I uh-huh. was crying so much. I had to stop myself. I said, like, if you keep crying, you will look bad tonight. So no more. <laughs> but I was so emotional. I was feeling this, I I don't know, like so nostalgic. Like I was going to miss there. It's like today is the final day. We're leaving. <gasps> yes. So, yeah. Some of them watch yeah, just goes to show <laughs> just goes to show that Andre is a, a is a person that's full of passion and love in her heart. Yes, I, I am a yes. passion. Like that's my sign and we are so sensitive. So like oh <laughs> <laughs> I think I um, our our Earthlings agree also that uh, they, yeah, they are most Andrea. likely cry during a, <laughs> a movie. Lovely also says Andrea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, but a lot of people say Andrea also. Now let's go to our <laughs> next category. Now, who do you think is most likely to? Oh, who is this? Oh, there you go. Be the big sister oh. of the group. Interesting. Is Interesting. Most likely to be the big sister of the group. Yes, I also have an answer for that, Ems. Yeah, me too. I think one, two, three. Oh, wow. Let's see. Who do you think? I have to. Most likely oh. to be the big like. sister. <laughs> okay, so oh wow, Yamina, Sheridan, Nadine, Sheridan, Nadine. So it's it's between Nadine and Sheridan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but Maybe I think Nadine ask, gets um, all Mina. the. <laughs> yeah, Mina. What answer, Sheridan? Are there is, is there any um like specific experience that made her the big? <laughs> Yeah, I, I do have a specific incident. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so Can you tell us? We were, yeah, we were like getting ready for a dinner and you know, I was just getting ready very slowly and then she was like, girl, we have to go. And then she was like, Are you ready? We should have been there like a while ago. I was like, yes. Yes, Sheridan. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So that's why I chose Sheridan. She would take There you go. Definitely me. big sister energy. But Sheridan, you, o- you also than- pick Nadine. <laughs> yes. Why, why do you pick Nadine as the big sister? <laughs> Nadine, I feel a very organized person. She's very grounded, <laughs> you know? So <laughs> if we ever need uh, anything, if we get in trouble, I'm sure she would be able to take control and take care of it very quickly. <laughs> But I am also a big sister myself. I've got two younger brothers, so I'm happy to take that role also. There you go. There you go. Um, yes, from YouTube, I love pageants. He's saying yes. love this thing. It shows how close the girls are. And somebody's also already calling an Ate. Ate Nadine. Ate Nadine. Ate means big sister. Ate. Big sister Ate. in Ate. Filipino. Yeah. Ate Nadine. There you go. My my old sister and the competition. I was like, Sherry, what do we have to do? Oh. <laughs> There you go. So you Andrew go. would have to start. I'm um, I'm um, I'm calling Sheridan and Nadine. At the Sheridan. Nate. And Nate. 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 Yeah. <laughs> There you Love go. It. What a lovely, what a lovely term to uh, to um, be put on, upon yourself. Like at the at this, like yes. it's an honor to be an at the. Yeah, there Perfect. you go. Thank you very much. People are loving the game. Thank you very much. Trish Water says, this is fun. We agree. <laughs> Guys, put okay. in the comments your answers as well so we can flash on the yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people right. agree also that it, it, it could be Nadine. Lorraine is yeah. there. Um, <laughs> yes, 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 it's Nadine. There you go. Um, and Kim is also like the Virgo Leo vibe of Miss Nadine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Virgos, but <laughs> 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 very Thank you very much. Now let's go. Let's move on to our next um, next um, one. Yeah. Who do you think is most likely to be the next action heroine? Heroine. I should pronounce that um, right. <laughs> okay. Yes. Who will okay, be count the next? Three. <laughs> One yes, action movie. Two. Yes, yes, an action okay. movie star. <laughs> action, yes. movie. action movie. Out of three, one, like, two, three. Like, uh, action action. like Wonder Woman. Like Wonder Woman. Yummy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm myself. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
I love it. So Nadine yeah. is a <laughs> wonder woman. And of course, because Mina is a, yeah, I love the confidence, Mina. Of course, yes. Mina's like me. <laughs> of course, definitely, definitely. Why not? I mean, why not? Nice why not, right? Me. I know, uh, I know Mina dreams of becoming an actress as well, so why not? Definitely. I mean, so. I mean, with me, I love, like, I always said I wanted to be in, like, a Marvel action movie. Like, that's my dream. <laughs> because, because I'm, like, I I'm know. also, like, you know, into fitness and, like, all that. But I mean, of right, course, right. all of us are, all of us are heroines, but I mean, it's just... You know, I've always wanted to like act in some Marvel character right, movie. Right. You know what, Nadine? I will cast you. I will be casting you in the Marvel movie Eternals. Um, yeah. I will make a good fit with that team of Eternals. That, that Thank movie. you. Yeah. Well, definitely. I mean, I'm open for auditions. So anyway. here you go. This is the call to um, um yes. to the producer, Marvel. Yeah. He's actor in Marvel. That's true. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> Mina. Yeah, definitely. Mina. I want to ask Mina, um, why you ra you raised your, your name? I, I love that you didn't say <laughs> Mina. You just said, it's, your paper says me. I love me. <laughs> What's the dream? What's the dream, Mina? Um, well, when I did Miss Korea in the past, they, right. I did an article. The headline was, Mina wants to be the next first um, female Marvel character, like first Korean female Marvel character. So I still remember that. I always wanted to be a superhero because I'm really into action. So maybe in the future, Nadine and I can go to the auditions together. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Korean, <laughs> Palestine. <laughs> right. Amazing, amazing. Yes. Let it be known that at this moment, um, we are now, we are manifesting um, um, yes. casting, being casted in Marvel movies. Yeah, so, we're manifesting it. It's yes. going to happen. It's going, it's going to happen, happen guys. Yeah. It's going yeah. to happen. It's Wonder Woman. <laughs> yes, Earthlings manifest it also. Earthlings, that's yeah, Let's all manifest together. Um, the thousands yeah. of viewers that we're having right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my God. Now, on to the next category. Okay. Um, now, let's go to this one. Who do you think is most likely? This is a little bit um, a different career path. Oh. Right now. Who do you think will most likely be the next president <laughs> of our country? <laughs> While they're trying to answer, Earthlings, if you want to suggest a category, you can also type it down at the comment section below. Let's go. Now, for our queens, raise your names in one, two, three. Let's oh see. my god, it's, it's unanimous. Oh, unanimous. Sheridan. 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 I just ask Andrea, Andrea, why did you answer Sheridan? Sheridan is our politician. She is all <laughs> into politics and that's for it. She's going to be our, the next president of Australia. I trust you, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will Definitely. be part of your party. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, that was the last category, but it was so much wow. fun. Thank you, guys. Uh, oh, there you go. Fun. There's one there's one question here that's really okay, one question nice. from the fans. Let's there. do it, let's do it. From Sky Fajardo. Who do you think would most likely oh, be interesting. the next big pop star? <laughs> oh, interesting question. Pop the next star. star. One. Can we answer you <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh. Mina and Andrea. Okay. Andrea. Okay. And Andrea. Yes. And Andrea, yes. Definitely. Mina and Andrea in your area. Yes. Okay. Yes. I love it. Mina and Andrea in your area. Okay. Um, <laughs> now we we ask um, Mina about her dream a while ago, but we now we know that um, Andrea is already a performer and a host and an yes. actress. Yes. Right. Okay. So um, definitely the it's it, it's in the pipeline being the next um, pop star. Correct. So, <laughs> Andrea, is there? Can we see any? video of you like performing or singing soon or um can you direct uh, us album. to something we, we want to look for it right. we find it. i've been singing this song this girl is on fire all the time <laughs> i think you should record that this there you go girl is on fire. yeah she also <laughs> she also has like pop star name andrea Yes. yes, Aguilera, yeah. like Christina Aguilera. Great Aguilera, like it matches. <laughs> she has the name That's true. It. That is true. Yeah. 
Call you know, sometimes it. it's, it's yeah. built in our name, it's built in our vibe, the manifesting of things. Yeah. Definitely. So we are manifesting. Yeah, you know, um, manifestation. Hmm. Yes. yes, and yes. maybe Emma and Andrea can be the one to perform in the opening number of Miss Earth 2023. Oh we never God. know, why not? Tita Lorraine, we know you are watching, Tita Lorraine. <laughs> He's teaching yes. the Miss Earth Where can I sign? Yes. <laughs> it is, it is there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, now, um, thank you so much everybody for all the comments and uh, thank you very much for all the a love that we are seeing right now. So now it is um, oh, our time. Uh, there you go. Joanne was like, sample, sample. Now, uh, well, Andrea already gave you a sample. So watch out for um, her next um, videos or covers or songs in the future. Now it's time, of course, for our fans to ask questions, okay? It's time for our fans to ask questions. Um, we are going to drop ah here you go yeah we're going to drop i should have done this earlier yes <laughs> we're going to drop the link of our studio yes. down at the comments section okay let me just okay let me just yes go to that comment section okay please, so maybe Evan, while to... you're doing that no while yes. you're doing that and while you're typing it in the comment section again we're inviting all of the fans to drop your questions right now in the comments box so that we can ask them to come to our Earth on Speed Night. But I'd like to ask no, while Emily is dropping the screen your name. I'd like to ask um, Nadine. Um, of course, we've been receiving a lot of messages from the fans, like private messages. What was like the most interesting or like the most heartwarming message you've uh, received so far from a fan of Miss Earth? Do you remember? Oh my God. That is a really difficult question because I've gotten so many heartwarming, amazing, loving messages that it's like, it's so hard to choose. But I think like any messages that, you know, just w was just encouraging and really looking at not only my looks, right? Not just the physical mm -hmm. appearance, but really appreciating what's inside and the hard work that I put and you know telling me that i deserve it especially the supporters that were with me from the very beginning you know since the virtual rounds i think you know it, it felt like they went through the whole experience with me up until the end you know what i mean so i think that was, was kind of like wow i crossed this finish line with them because they were there right from the beginning so i think the, the most heartwarming messages were were from them and just yes. really anyone anyone that's supportive Correct, correct. And you know what? We're going to give two of our fans tonight a chance to be with with us, to be in the same frame as um, the four of you, please, because we are going to invite two of the Earthlings to join the stream right now, right, M? So once again, yes. if we have a question first, drop them in the comments box so that we can stream them, and then we're going to give you the link to join our live stream right now. So, M, so we already have some questions coming from the fans Ooh, in the comment yes, box. Yes, yes, yes. So, I just dropped the link, guys. So, if you're shy and um, to come up here because you're blinded by the beauty of our things, then you can ask your questions. Um, there yes. you go. From Lorraine. Okay, this is a nice question. Okay. What do you think? And then anyone can answer this. Um, my question is, according to Lorraine, what do you think is the most powerful tool to educate the minds of the youth that encourage them to heal the earth? What a wonderful question. Let's begin with um, Sherry. So I think that one of the best ways to actually educate the youth is to get them out into the, in, in terms of the environment, out into the environment. So whether that be, for instance, going out into a particular ecosystem or even just going to the zoo to be able to actually see that animal or that ecosystem in real life you sort of create that connection with it and then once you have that connection you're more likely to care about that in the future it's not just some concept or some idea you're talking about it's something real and solid and once you can see that and connect with it in person you're more likely to want to know more about it and then protect it if it's in danger amazing definitely definitely being exposed to that environment right yeah how about um andrea what would be your answer to this question well i think another tool because i love sharing tool to take people out like to share with the environment i always do that like 
was trying to connect myself uh, with the nature, going to the mountains, going to the paramounts, walking. And you feel you feel that energy, and you realize that you are responsible mm. of taking care of the people. So, uh, um, for educating, we be taking people out to connect with the environment and be more responsible about hair protection. And the other tool I was talking about, of course, it's inspiring and it's being an example. You have to be a role model. You can't be out. You have to show up so people could um, could take it in consideration. And it's like inspiring, like you can change a lot of just little changes on your daily decision. Life, so we can be always more sustainable, more eco friendly, and in that way you can inspire others. So it's going to be massive in some point. I think that would be my, my two options for tools. Definitely, definitely. A wonderful answer. Now we're going to change the question for um, our other queens, for Nadine oh, and no. Nina. Oh, no? Okay. Let's oh, answer no. that. Okay. Let's, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I really like that go. question. No, okay, okay, to, okay. You love that question. Okay, so we'll let Nina and Nadine answer the same question. Um, let's, <laughs> let's go the rounds. Now let's go to Nina. Nina. Yeah, um, I feel like for the intelligent round, I also received a similar question and my response was this exposure because we live in a technologically advanced world and what are we exposed to the most? Social media. So I yeah. feel like that could be a powerful tool to actually um, educate people by seeing it, by exposing us to everyday life, what we see on media. And I, like Andrea said, we have role models, we have influencers, we have followers on Instagram. So it's our responsibility as Miss Earth, Elemental Queens and Miss Earth myself as well to be those role models so we can expose people to more, you know, important matters of social issues and environmental issues as well. There and you go, harnessing the power of social media. Yeah. Spoken like a true queen. How about you, Nadine? I think for me, uh, it's a combination of both art and social media because you can mm -hmm. use social media to express art. And by art, I just mean whatever talents each person has, they can express mm -hmm. things and messages through that. So for some, some people, it's literature and it's expressing things through poems and poetry and writing. And for some people, it can be even a song and music and singing like Andrea, right? You love singing and that's some way, that's a way that you can actually express things and send a message. And for some people, it's being a politician. And so everybody has a way to, to use art to express things and send a message. And I think for each person, whatever they're passionate about, it is a way to use art. So we can inform people and send these messages through what we're talented in, things that we love, and use social media to amplify these messages in so many different people in the world. Because these days, technology and science have combined together to truly be impactful and reach so many different people in the world. And with art, this is a combination that is extremely powerful and that we can Definitely, definitely. Nothing more powerful than com uh, combining social media and, of course, art. Um, to express our intention to take care of our mother earth spoken like true queens thank you very much for answering that question we have a yes i love that hair flip from mina yes like mm -hmm, yes we got this now speaking of we got this jurors is um backstage right now um but we don't see um, a camera on so um maybe the signal is a little um bad okay now we have uh, okay, there you go. One person's camera is on. Um, Sky, would you mind um, typing your question on the private chat first? Before yes. Before we on. on. What is your yes. question? We have a private chat um, box around uh, yes. here on the right side. So please type your question there uh, so that we can um, we can check either the question yes. first. There you go. Now, um, Another question before we go to Sky. Sorry, Jers, but you, you cannot see your camera, so maybe your signal is off. But we're going to let Sky in a little bit. So Sky typed his question right now. Uh, there you go. Oh, there you go, Jers. Okay, but we're going to have Sky. Sky, say hi to our queen. Sky can be on this. Okay, hi, Sky. Sky. Where are you? Oh, yes. Look at him! Look at him gushing! Look at him gushing! That's so cute. Yes. Okay, Sky. 
Hello, how old are you, Sky? I'm um, 21 years old. Yes. 21 years old, and where are you from? I'm from Rizal. Oh, from Rizal. Rizal. All right. Yes. From Rizal. I think some of our um, queens went to Rizal uh, at one time. <laughs> Look at him giggling. With He's gushing, gushing right now. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, there. Yes, yeah. I am. You are. Sky, what is your question to our queens? You have a beautiful question. Please ask. Yes. Me. And they. Like, I think it's really a very like important question. So, what is the most um, pressing um, issue that like you want to give attention the most right now? Wonderful question. Okay. So, what's the most pressing issue you want to give attention to right now? Let's begin with Andrea. Well, right now we're facing the global change is the biggest issue. We are and I think it's important that we give enough attention to it. We have to just every single aspect of our lives, like individuals and of course as society, because uh, the earth is our planet and we have to work as a community. And it's in our hands if we, if we do the, the respect thing we have to do in every single day in every single action in every single aspect i have too much to do for our mother earth and we can really do we can really create a big change it's not just about about us we have seen it when we take responsibility change positive changes started to happen and this is the moment for impacting positively in the climate change the biggest, biggest problem we have as we want to right with the environment. So let's focus on that today mm-hmm. and let's put on practice all the tools we know that we can yeah. help our Mother Earth for, of course, facing this big problematic. Definitely. There you go. Definitely. Putting everything in practice. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Definitely. All the tools that we know are useless when we don't put them into practice. That is great. How about you, Nadine? What do you think would be um, the most pressing issue that we have to address right now? Well, I think it, the, the biggest issue stems from ignorance. And to be more specific with that, it's either too much information, which is conflicting, or not enough information. So you have a part of the world that's not getting, edu- getting enough education, and governments need to put more effort in providing free education for everyone in order for them to truly be able to make an impact and change the world. And then you also have the problems brought on by technology and social media. And of course, social media and technology, as I said, can be an amazing tool, but it could also, because of all this bombardment with way too much information, it can be very difficult for people to distinguish what is the truth and what is reality and what is not the truth. So we need to be able to find a way. Governments and powerful people in the world need to create a system and some type of laws in in social media and in technology where we're able to filter out the invalid information from the valid information. Because when you have so many different types of information and some isn't real and some is, people are going to be confused on how to act and how to apply things. So I think it's a matter of ignorance, education, and we need to be able to find out a system to provide the truth. And that there is only one truth. There you go. Sky, right? So I think Sky heard that. And Sky is going to remember that. Sky is learning a lot. So ignorance, fighting ignorance, right? There's only one truth and one thing we need to do for our mother. Exactly. And it's just, that, like I said, there's two things. Too much information or a lack of information. A lack of it. And you need to find a middle ground. There you go. The middle ground. And the middle ground is truth. Thank you very much for that, Nadine. I am. Re- we are also reminded that it's a very, very important thing to do. And now let's go to Sheridan. Sheridan, what do you think is something that we need to address right now? Thank you for so much, Sky, for your question. It's a really great one. Um, for me, I think that the most prominent issue that we need to address if we're talking about climate change as a whole is definitely the inequality that we're facing right now with the climate change battle. A lot of the pressures are put on the individual to try and fight climate change when in reality it's the big organizations and the big groups that have the resources to help make big changes in the climate change battle they're the ones that should be doing most of the brunt work, but instead it's put on the little people. And this mm-hmm. is shown, especially when it comes to 
people that are might be in debt or that are just scraping by, it's not fair or equitable to put pressure on them to also try and save the environment, which is something that humankind has never this this scale has never had to comprehend before. So I think that what we should be giving attention to right now is shifting that blame and that focus from the individual back to the corporations who are the root cause of a lot of the issues that we are facing right now with climate change. That is true. You know, we, we admire the consistency in Sheridan's advocacy. From the very beginning, she has been pushing for accountability, not yeah. only from ordinary people, but also from big companies who actually have a hand at the problem and also definitely the solution. Thank you very much for that, Sheridan. Yeah. And of course, the, um, Mina, yeah, what do you think is something that we should address, a pressing issue that you want to give attention to most um, right now? Yes. I think the most important issue we can address right now um, that all can be the solution to solving many social issues is really understanding from other people people's point of views. And I know in my final answer, I also answered empathy and it's a very right. important value that I learned growing up um, all over the world. And in terms of solving inequity as well, and <laughs> thank you, Sky, uh, in terms of solving inequity issues and climate change as well, because it's the biggest consequence of climate issues is that there is a unfair amount of people who's affected. And in order to solve that, we need to understand on a personal level how um, what the incentives are for the big corporates and what the incentives are for um, on a personal level. But by being more empathetic, we can really begin those transitions. So I feel like the most important thing we can start is by having being more empathetic. Yeah. There you go. Definitely. We really love that answer um, about being empathetic. Sky, look at you um, um, up giving, um, applauding our queens. What can you say? What can you say about their answers? What did you learn from them? I simply, I simply have no words right now. <laughs> I learned oh. a lot. I learned a lot, yeah. And that makes it better because they are um, very true to their uh, um, advocacies. Yeah, and that's, that's nice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you being speechless, but also being so smart. So thank also, you very um, much. Right. Sorry. I wanted to give Sky a shout out because he's been one of my biggest supporters. <laughs> he has been my right? biggest number oh, one wow. fan oh. since the beginning of my journey in Miss Earth. So it's really good to see him all here with all the other queens oh. and Sky together. See, that is amazing. <laughs> uh, true. Yes. A, a queen recognizing his um, true follower. Okay, Sky. So give give one smile because we're going to have a screenshot with the queens here you go one two three sky congratulations thank you so much thank you very much sky thank you great job sky thank you so much thank you sky and that is the time that we have with our fans yes. again um there you go jurors i'm sorry no, we ran out of time jurors yes yes Oh, oh, thank you. But, but you know what, you. Emma? It's like mm. to say, no, that's why we love the Earth things because that's the kind of fans we have on Miss Earth. Sky mm -hmm. is like the best example of an Earthling supporting our queens from day one. So good job, Sky. Maraming salamat and congratulations to you as well. Thank you very much. And um, Jers, thank you very much. Yeah, um, the question came a little bit too late, but it's okay. Um, thank you very much for coming up and uh, um, trying to ask a question to our queens. And now we have come to the final part of our um, show for tonight, okay? And you know, apart from Sky, our dear queens, we know that you have been inspiring a lot of people, um, not only to protect the earth, but also to muster up all the confidence and become the best version of themselves, Correct. right? And you are inspiring people who are down um, who are probably doubting themselves. Um, but we would like you to go back to that moment. You were, you know, definitely when you were young and still unsure of things and uh, dreaming of a certain moment that will come in the future when you were a young girl. If you were to give a message to your young girl self, 
looking at where you are right now, looking at what you are achieving right now, what would be your message to your younger self? So I'd like you to think about that. And let's begin. May I begin with you, Dean? What would be your message to your Did you say, I'm sorry, it's lagging. Oh, sorry. So, um, again, I, let, let me repeat that. So if you were going to give a message to your younger self, Mm -hmm. being a young girl before, what would be your message to your younger self? Looking at where you are right now and what you've achieved, uh, what would be your message to her? I would say that um, it doesn't matter what hardships, what challenges, what struggles or, or obstacles are in your way. But if you believe in yourself and you love yourself, it's such an important thing to really love and respect yourself, you can get to where you want to get to. So to just keep working hard and look forward and look at that goal and to always stay positive no matter what, there's a silver lining for everything. And with every negative, there's a positive. So just look at the positive. And with that, you follow your heart. And with love, you get to where you want. Thank you very much. And uh, we hope we learn, from, uh, let's learn from that. Every There's always a silver lining. At the end of the negative, there will always be a positive coming up. Thank you very much. That was so inspiring. That was so inspiring, Nadine. To all our earthlings out there, please take that word. Remember that word. How about you, Andrea? What would be your message? If you're talking to your younger self right now, the young Andrea, what would you tell her? Well, I'm very lucky to grow up in a home where my mom always told me yeah, dreams, can, dreams come true when you work for them. And I grew up in that way. So I will tell my, my younger self to always trust in herself, always work on her goals, always keep dreaming bigger and bigger. And I want to say this to everybody that's looking at us uh, tonight or this morning, and it's we have to put goals, dreams in our mind, in our heart, because that was really give us purpose in in life. Like when you have something that makes you feel that passion, that love, that's what really move you forward. So think big and see what you, that's what you really want to achieve in, in in life. Like you want. To be a superstar, we want to be a supermodel, we want to be a president. Put them on your heart and in your mind, no matter how big they sound or they look like, because we can always find a way to to get that goal. It's like uh, follow your dream, they know the the journey, the path. So there is always a way to get them. Work hard for them. So I hope I hope you do it, like literally, put all that on your heart and God is going to show you the way to get it. There you go. Thank you. Very, I love how, I love what Andrea said, no, it? there is always a way to get there. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. So don't underestimate and don't undermine your, your, your worth and your yeah. brightness. Think big and there's always a way to get there. Wonderful. Andrea, that was so wonderful. Sheridan. My mom has a quote which I love and that is to love the if in life. You know, what if I try this? What if I go down this path? And you know, life has so many opportunities presented to you. So if one door seems to shut, that's only because five more do doors are opening and it is up to you to choose that path. And to my younger self, I would say, don't be discouraged if you come across closed doors. It just means that the universe has other plans for you and those plans could be bigger or perhaps it's a detour that you need so that when you do finally get to that door that you so desperately want, you are ready to experience what opportunities lie behind it. Amazing. Embrace the ifs, right? Embrace, Embrace the ifs in life. Don't be scared ifs. to try something new. Just jump head first because you never know what could come out of it. Yeah, that what if could be the what could be. And uh, of course, you can go forward and make that happen. Thank you very much, Hillary. And look at that. And now let's have our Miss Earth 2022, Nina. Hello. 
there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank, yeah, it's okay. Something that um, I always remind myself is the time when I was in high school. I remember someone gave a speech saying, be present in all your moments. And that just spoke to me my entire life. Being present in your highs, being present in your lows. And a lot of people, you know, they message me saying, you're amazing, you're well, very well spoken, you're so fit, you're beautiful. But I didn't look like that when I was younger. I was very chubby at one point. I was very shy at one point. I wasn't well spoken at one point. But what I did was I still stayed present in those moves. I didn't run away, but I was sad. But at the same time, I was there to see myself, to celebrate the flaws I had, but the imperfectly perfect um, sides I had. And I really want to tell a lot of young girls or and boys, everyone that's trying to make the best out of themselves to be present in your moments of your downs and your highs, because those are the things that make up the version of yourself today. Those are the things that will make the version of yourself in the future. And I, I even, I'm Miss Earth right now, and I'm still in, still telling myself that every single day. So you should be doing the same. Yeah, be present Amazing. in your moments. Thank you very much. Well spoken, like a true queen. Be present in the moment. Embrace the highs and lows yes. of your life. Let's give our queens a big round of applause. I know you are doing that right now, Earthlings. Wherever you are, Noi, what can you say? You know what, Ems? I am just filled with so much gratitude right now, being able to hear our queens. This is such a great moment, such a great opportunity, and that is why we're going to give the queens just that. No, because I am not sure if you've been given a chance to really give your messages of thanks and love to all of your supporters That's from true. around the world. So we're going to give you that moment to thank everyone and anyone from around the earth. And we are starting with you. Anyone who'd like to thank? Um, in this journey of yours as Miss Earth Fire. The floor is yours. I'm so happy to have this opportunity because I feel very blessed, very thankful, grateful with each one of you that's been since no, since moment number one with us, cheering for us, and of course joining us and every event on the social media. So thank you so much for your love, for your support, because you have been everything. I think Miss Earth was amazing. Thank you. So God bless you all so much and keep supporting us because we got this. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Andrea. And congratulations on Miss Earth Fire. We are going to um watch out for all of your projects and all of your endeavors in the future. MPC is right here behind you. Now let's go to from fire. To water, Nadine, the floor is yours. Anyone you'd like to thank for your journey as Miss Earth Water? I want to thank all my supporters and all of the sponsors that make this happen. You all know that you make this dream come true. And I even made a post recently thanking a lot of my sponsors, and I still have to make part two because there's just so many people I have to sponsor. But this. All right, I think uh, she froze a little bit, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. We'll go. We'll get back to the yeah. end. Yeah. Okay. Maybe um, we can now hear from um, Sheridan, Miss Earth Air. Anyone that I could thank for um, all of the fans, all of the supporters. Well, firstly, I'd like to say a big thank you to Miss Earth for providing a platform and an opportunity for us girls to even have this platform. And then obviously a big thank you to the sponsors, the supporters, the pageant bloggers, you know, they're out here every day collecting information and trying to figure out the latest post working 24 seven. So a really big thank you because without you guys, you know, this wouldn't be as big and we wouldn't get as much awareness as we do with Miss Earth being one of the top four pageants. And I also want to say a special thank you to everybody that saw in us our potential and our advocacies and what we can bring to the Miss Earth platform. So I'm hoping that this year will be a very fruitful year and I look forward to reigning as your Miss Earth Era 2022. Definitely. There you go. Thank you, Sheridan, for that message. Let's go back to Nadine. Nadine. Yes. Um, we lost you for a little bit, but then you're back. You may continue your your um thank yes, you. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so I am going back to thank all my sponsors and 
supporters and my family and friends, each and every single one of you for making this happen. And I just want to say that really life is beautiful and the world is beautiful and to just always remember that. And I know so many people and fans right now are watching us and they're looking at us, but just remember you are beautiful too and you can make a huge difference even if we have crowns and and you know, we have a power and responsibility to inspire you to make that difference. We are just inspiring people to inspire, but the power and the difference will come from all of us, each and every single one of you matter. So just remember, life is beautiful, and I want to thank you guys so much, and I'm so excited to make this earth and water, and it's just going to, you know, keep going from here, and we're going to keep making a big difference. Definitely, we are all so excited. Yes, thank you very much. And of course, Noe? Of course, our message coming from the Queen herself, Miss Earth 2022, Mina, the floor is yours. Um, first of all, I really want to thank the Miss Earth organization because not only is this organization a relevant pageant because we live in a world where the transition with um, environmental is happening right now, but what the organization pushes is loving and support, girl power, empowering power. And I remember being in this journey, mm -hmm. being such a loving and supportive person. I was receiving love and I was giving out love to all the girls. And if this is the kind of organization it is and you're supporting it, you're definitely supporting the right organization. And secondly, which leads to thanking all the fans and the, all the supporters of Miss Earth. Thank you for being present in our journey, and I hope you guys will be present in our future journey, and we'll hopefully be present in your journey as well. Yeah. Thank you very much, definitely. Definitely, I think on behalf of the Earth Things, we can say that we will be present in your journey all throughout the year, and of course, throughout your advocacies as Miss Earth Queens. And um, somebody here is already like shedding a tear. Um, Joanne <laughs> says, who's cutting onions? I am. No, is anyone Definitely. crying? No one's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Tucker says, love you all. Best yes. for ever. And uh, definitely, we couldn't agree more. Thank you very much. And Noi, what can you say about that? Um, you know what? I think this, this is also the perfect opportunity for us because we're officially closing. This is so hard for me. We're officially closing this season of Miss Earth coverage for MEC to all of the earthlings maraming salamat thank you so much because we've been so appreciative of the kind or the quality of coverage we've been doing for Miss Earth Brown we are so happy and we are so driven to give you more quality content but then for now we have to say goodbye and close the season for Miss Earth we're so honored and so happy to have served you as your number one authority in terms of Miss Earth for this year 2022 but there's more coming up we're just gonna take a rest take a break and then we're going back stronger than ever for vietnam 2023 miss yes. earth we're gonna see all of you there earthlings yes there, we, right we're already looking forward to that but yes. aside from so vietnam <laughs> yes we will be seeing you in vietnam next year but of course we are going to look forward to all the activities the travels the advocacies Correct. Our Earth Queens will be doing this year. Let's all watch out for that. Again, the honor is ours. Thank you very much, Sheridan, Andrea, Nadine, and of course, Mina, for being with us tonight. And with that, we would like to say goodbye to everybody and good night and have a good rest of your weekend. This has been your Miss Earth Crown team together with our Miss Earth 2022 winners and our queens. Good job. Thank you very much, everyone. We will be ending our live in just a few. Look back on this stream so that you can learn a lot of lessons from our queens. Goodbye, guys. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.